Evolutionary theory, taken to its natural progression backwards, will lead us to abiogenesis, the concept that life arose from non-life. The two theories are joined at the hip. While they are separate, they're also kissing cousins because evolution relies upon abiogenesis to explain the origin of life. So could life have arisen from non-life? There are so many parts to even a simple prokaryotic cell. Remember, the chemical events needed to form the first nucleic acids would only be the first baby step in the mountainous chain of events needed for the first cell to be on the scene. So did life all form by a chance meeting of chemicals in some primordial goo? What are the chances that this occurred? Let's start with a little less on our probability. First, the probabilities of a coin flip. To get tails, it's a 50-50 chance, or one out of two. Now what are the chances of another person getting two tails in a row? One half times one half, or one fourth. So if four people are flipping coins, the law of probability states that only one of them will get two tails in a row. To get three tails in a row, the chances of that happening are one half times one half times one half, or one eighth. The probability is one out of eight. Notice something interesting. Another variable needed to get our outcome has decreased the chances of that happening. Now to get 10 tails in a row, the chances of that happening are one half times one half 10 times, or one over 1,024, or roughly one out of 1,000. So we have determined by the law of probability that a mere 10 flips of the coin will produce all tails in about one out of a thousand times. Interesting. Now it gets fun for the evolutionist who believes that life arose from non-life. A small peptide is 32 amino acids long with a specific sequence. The coin flips needed to get this small peptide to form are somewhere in the neighborhood of one times 10 to the 40th power. That is a 1 followed by 40 zeros, something like this. Improbable? Perhaps. But remember, you need to add into this equation hundreds more small steps, or coin flips, needed for the marathon run to even make a simple prokaryotic cell reproducing with a membrane. And remember, with each step needed to make a simple first cell, the probability is exponentially decreased. More variables means even less probability. And don't forget to add into, all the, into the equation all the negative factors chemically working against this possibly happening in a primordial soup. This would be like trying to get the correct coin flips while a monkey keeps stealing the coin. Remember, you need hundreds more steps in sequence to make a fully functioning first cell. The summary? To say that life came from non-life is a marathon statement, and we have just shown that even the baby steps needed for the 26-mile marathon are very improbable. And even if you believe the first cell formed like this, then think of all the billions more steps required by evolution to get to human beings. Mind-boggling. So you are free to believe in evolution, abiogenesis, if you like but it requires much, much, much faith. Like believing that you hold 100 lottery tickets and every one is a winner. Same probability. Science is supposed to look at all possibilities. So why are evolutionists afraid of intelligent design? Design demands a designer. Not all are fighting against the evidence staring us right in the face. Take a look at the